Durbania. I'm Durbin. I'm Laura. And we are going to read way too much into Beauty and the Beast. As we get into the new live action Beauty and the Beast, we just thought this was a good time to go back and revisit the classic Disney animated one, yes. which is really fun. It's uh, probably one of my favorite. That one, it goes back and forth between that and Little Mermaid for the classic Disney yeah. movies for, for the girl princess ones. Yeah. Because then you got Lion King, which is like... But that's not a princess one, in my opinion. No, that's... but Lion King is just an ultimate favorite, I think, of most people. Yeah, because yes. it's awesome. <laughs> and Aladdin. I love Aladdin. Well, since you are the huge fan of Beauty and the Beast, why don't you kick us off? What 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 meaning do you find behind the movie? Well, there's lots of meanings that I find behind the movie, but um, I decided to go with one that's a little bit different, or one that most people might not think about. Mine deals with cute little Chip. And I'm going to put chip. my hands here, pretend like there's a cup, Chip. And he just, the childlike faith that he represents inside of the entire movie. Like he is just this, you know, cute kid with wonderment, wondering what's going on here or there. And then when the cards are down and action needs to take place, he figures out what has to be done to solve the problem. And it's just, that just shows childlike faith, just always learning, always willing to try. Whereas us as adults, we get our minds set on things and close it off. And, yeah, and it's yeah. like, and it's really, it's unfortunate. There's something about childlike faith that can make you just go for it. I mean, do stuff that you would never expect to do. And I feel like people with that can accomplish so much. And you see that with Chip when he sees, I don't know what the wood cutting tool oh, design thing. Oh yeah, the thing that, that, that Bell's, Bell's dad Bell's made. Father yeah. made. Yeah, Maurice, crazy old Maurice. <laughs> Um, but he figures out how to light, get, get it lit, and get it started, and get it to start chopping, and ha have it aim right in the right direction. And then, and he's the, a cup, and he's a cup. And at the very end, he's like, "You've got to try this." <laughs> and so I just, it's cute, and it shows you that that his childlike faith, he's able to accomplish anything that he needs to accomplish as long as he sets his mind to it. Here's a deep and philosophical answer that you, as a true fan of this movie, might be able to answer. When Chip was cursed, he was a child and he became a cup. Did he age as a cup? Or does he stay a child? I think he stays a child. And but then really, started aging long... again when he becomes a person. He starts aging again as he becomes a person. But really, how long is the curse? Like, from when he's when the beast is like 12 to so he's 21 or something, right? Yeah, and so it's really not that long. Yes. It's so, a little messed up that I think the witch lady cursed a 12-year-old spoiled brat. Yeah, so... And where was his parents? Anyway. Yeah, that's why I'm like, was he 18? Was he... And I have not read that. I don't know. I feel so like I the math is stuff. he's a preteen or early teens, but... Yeah. Math aside, like, as I was going through this movie again, like, the meaning I find behind it is kind of interesting, and I get it just, like, right there in that opening monologue where the lady curses the beast. Yes. Because... This prince is acting beastly. Like, he has beastly thoughts. He yeah. has beastly things in his heart. Like, he's so shallow that just because this lady is ugly, there's like a storm raging, it's freezing cold, she's just coming in to get warmed up by the fire. Yes. And he won't even let that happen because she's ugly. Yeah. So he's just beastly completely on the inside. So the curse is what's on the inside becomes what's on the outside. He becomes the beast that mm -hmm. he actually is inside. And what's interesting to me is... I don't know why I was thinking about it this way today, but it so parallels Chronicles of Narnia Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Because you have Eustace yeah, who I finds the that. dragon's hoard, and he has those dragonish thoughts. Mm -hmm. And the curse that is on the dragon treasure is that you become that dragon, you become that thing. So when he was wanting that treasure, he wanted to keep it all for himself, and he put the ring up on his arm, he's shoving gold all in his pockets. It's his treasure, it's mine. Mine, my, my, my precious. He becomes what was on the inside of him. And the only cure was for him to follow Aslan and then for Aslan to like literally rip off the dragon skin. Like that was the cure. That's kind of the same thing with Beauty and the Beast. The curse is he became the beast that was inside of him. Because the he couldn't cure, he didn't have love or compassion. And the cure was to let love in his heart and then he would become again what was inside of him. It reminds me of what Jesus said that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. In other words, like what you've really stored up in here mm -hmm. is what's really gonna come out of here. And like, if it's bad stuff that's in here and bad stuff then coming out of here, that's what defiles a person. Yeah. So it's like such an interesting concept that, you know, what's inside 
is what's really important. It's important to get that cleaned up because that's kind of like what you become. So I just think yeah. that's interesting that both for Eustace and for the Beast, the thing that changed their outside circumstance was changing what was going on inside. And so I thought that was just an interesting meaning that I find as I watch that movie. There you go. If you saw the old Beauty and the Beast Disney animated cartoon movie, what meanings do you find behind the movie and in those plot points? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button and become a Durbanian next to the subscribe button. that little bell. Make sure you click that. You'll be notified the moment I drop a new video. Like and share this video, especially as we get closer to that live action Beauty and the yeah, Beast. Yeah, only a couple days away. Yes, and we're definitely going to be reviewing that. Look for a spoiler-free review and a spoiler talk on that. And, and while you're looking for that stuff, check out Kong, my spoiler-free review. Check out my spoiler talk of Kong that I did with Tyler Tompkins, another great YouTube channel. We joined forces and we spoiler talked that movie. It was fantastic. So check all of those videos out right now. I'm Durbin. I'm Laura. Thank you for checking out Durbanian.